Hi guys, um, I wanted to show you Ark. It's a newer survival type game. I've had a few people asking me, are there any sort of survival type games similar to Daisy, where you craft, you know, sort of survive off the land. Um, and this is a game I've picked up fairly recently, where you sort of base build, craft, survive, you know, get food, etc, etc. It's got um, slightly different theme to it. This is um, dinosaur sort of based as so sort of monsters where you can tame them and things like that so um, I'm just going to give you a quick run through um, and look at me this is me getting started so I'm no pro at the minute um, but I intend on um, getting better at this game so I'll, I'll sort of show you and upload videos as I go Okay, so you start off with no weapons or anything like that, and you have to sort of initially punch um, and grab um, things off the floor, punch trees to get wood, thatch, etc. Um, as you level up, you level up quite easily in the early stages, so you'll, you'll level up, you can make a pick, you can see the uh, crafting a stone pick, um, and then you use your stone pick to whack the trees, as I'm doing now, and you'll get um, a higher quantity of you know thatch, wood, whatever it is. Um, different tools will get different resources so you'll see that this stone pick gets quite a lot of thatch um, if you use the, the stone hatchet or axe I think it's called um, to, you'll get a lot more wood when you're sort of hitting the trees um, you can also use this pick on a stone so to get flint things like that and obviously the, the different implements that you use to, to whack different things you'll get different resources and in turn be able to craft different things as well um, you see now I've got the stone hatchet, so I'll use that, and then obviously you can go and whack other things. You can just get slightly so different slight, um, types of resources. Um, okay, so I'll just carry on. I'm going to fast forward a bit because I know you just don't want to see me whacking trees for the next 10 minutes so I'll fast forward to when um, I've got a decent amount of resources and just leveled up a little bit more to allow me to start building some bits and pieces just to show you the, the building. Okay. Just before I fast forward I wanted to point out that when you do level up you can obviously select your skills so there's whereas in Daisy you don't level up and um, you do in this and obviously you can you get so many points to spend on different things as well you know building making weapons um, so you, you have a certain degree of control over which direction your character grows um, so obviously you know if you want to base build do that if you want to be sort of better at attacking you can do that um, but yeah it's entirely up to you but sometimes you need more points than you've got so just sort of spend your points wisely Okay, so it's night time now, um, and I've started to build a little tiny shelter just through the um, the tools that I've got and the skills that I've learned so far. So you see, you've got to get a foundation to start with, and obviously you can build walls, and it's pissing down with rain, so I'm going to need to build a roof because um, you do get affected by the, the weather conditions. I've not died from them yet, so... Um, but I imagine they can have some sort of adverse effects on your character if you prolonged, uh, you know, for a certain amount of time. Um, so, okay, you can watch me build him for a little bit.
there those green lights that you see coming down from the sky um, are apparently resources um, when you reach I think it's level 10 you're eligible to open these chests so you, every now and again you see these pillars of light come down from the sky um, not the fireballs you just saw a minute ago it's like there's green blue white um, red different colors and depending on the color um, that will sort of let you know what level you've got to be to open it so if there's quite a lot of players on the server and one of the rarer pillars of light comes down you sort of you tend to get quite a few players coming together i believe um to to battle over the chest because sometimes you can get rare items in them and um, so you get a lot of people sort of hanging around waiting to sort of jump here um i've not encountered any of the players by the pillars of light yet because obviously i've i've not got reached level 10 so it's pointless me trying to go and see what happens um so at the moment i'm just trying to i've uh, just got enough resources to create a roof which i'm about to stick on the um, the building now you see I'm encumbered you get encumbered so easily early on if you, if you pick up a lot of stone so what I do is I sort of you know wherever I'm building is I'll grab it and just drop it um, so I'm not encumbered and then obviously it's right next to your base um, it seems um, you can build bases pretty much anywhere as long as it's flat land but one thing I will say is in a, another server I built a base and then somebody came to me and just invited me to join there clan or whatever it is so I sort of accepted um, and then my base belonged to them um, I didn't want to stay in their clan I just sort of clicked yes just to see what other options I got but then when I left their group the base that I just built was no longer me uh, belonging to me um, so just watch out for that because you can lose your base what I do advise is um, if you want to create your own group or, or sort of clan um, you can change your settings so anybody you know if you want to take other people's bases when they join your clan you can tick that I think in the settings or same with animals as well if other people have got animals when they come to join your group you can change the settings so anybody in your group can ride their animals or only um, the, own, the owner of that animal can ride there so there are a few settings once you sort of create your own group um, but obviously that's something you can have a play around with when you, when you look into it a lot of people just like to join an existing clan um, so I'm, I generally tend to like to just create my own and have other people join me. Um, so, but that's entirely you know, up to you guys. I have fast forwarded to um, daytime because obviously nobody wants to watch when it's still dark. It's very difficult to see what's going on. Um, as you can see, I'm still trying to get a roof on. Um, I put the roof in the wrong place before, so I had to destroy it. Um, so we make be careful when you're putting your roof on and walls on you don't sort of overlap them or sort of make sure they're on the wrong way um, the graphics aren't bad on this um, I've got a pretty good graphics card but as you can see lighting shadows things like that the only downside is the the characters um, not much detail to the characters they all look sort of fairly similar um, and if you make them sort of big tall whatever the face is very similar um, the structure is not great so you can't really do much too much to your character at the moment um, and I stay adding any updates in the future but um, everything else graphic wise is pretty nice um, I did hear people saying it was laggy I'm not really encountering these problems I've got it on um, ultra settings I think now um, I've got a, a 780 Ti um, wind force graphics card so it's just a pretty high spec um, but I did also try it on an R9 280 um, Radiant Sapphire card which also run it pretty well you know no real issues um, you can see it was a turn around this motion blur on at the minute I'm not a big fan of this motion blur uh, so I'm maybe turning that off but obviously um, I think you can turn that down and it'll have less of an effect on your graphics card so uh, depending on, on what you're running um, you can turn your settings down to sort of accommodate the card but yeah graphics overall are pretty good um, and when you do come across the, the dinosaurs and, and, and birds you could, there's, there's all sorts of things you can tame and train um, from underwater animals to flying animals to just normal dinosaurs um, you can sort of make saddles to to train those um, and also obviously you can kill them to get sort of hide different types of leather things like that so um, as I say I've not gone um, in great depth into this yet but I just wanted to show you guys um, arc so you can take a look for yourself. A lot of people, there's an animal there now, giant frog type thing. But a lot of people want to see a game played a little bit before they buy it, see whether it's worth it or not. As I say, I'm a, a first-person shooter, and sort of survival fan, 
really so a lot of the games I play um, are going to be like this or like um, you know Battlefield things like that Call of Duty um, so yeah um, there we go let's have a look at this frog uh, just so you can get a closer look oh no gone I'll run back to that in a second okay so let's go and get some more resources see if I can get a doorway and some other bits for my makeshift hut um, and we'll go from there Uh, you'll find a lot of the time when you're getting started in this game is spent foraging, grabbing, you, you know, picking things up off the floor, making uh, makeshift weapons just so you can sort of, you know, um, get resources from trees, or, you know, stones, things like that. Uh, do stick with it um, because it, it does it does get a bit tedious to be honest. The first sort of hour or so of the game, you know, you pick up a few new skills, you learn a new a few new bits, but obviously as you're trying to you know craft a hut. It, it can get a little bit tedious um, but yeah like I say do stick with it because I believe there's some, some really good things you can do as the game progresses so anyway uh, I'm going to leave it there thanks for watching I know I've gone on a bit but like I say I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a look at uh, sort of every aspect of the game so if you've watched it this far thank you very much for watching leave a like if you liked it you know any comments below anything you'd like to see any of the types of games obviously mention those too um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this um, thanks very much guys much appreciated and I'll, uh, I'll hopefully see you all very soon when I've got a huge building um, and a big clan <laughs> let's see alright thanks guys